there are loads and loads of ways of having sex without getting pregnant, okay? But if you want to have penis in vagina sex and don't want to get pregnant, you need to use contraception, okay? That's what this video is about. I'm going to talk about two kinds of methods of contraception. There are barrier methods and there are hormonal methods. Barrier methods prevent either sperm and eggs from meeting or prevent um, fertilized eggs from implanting in the womb. Um, hormonal methods introduce a small amount of extra female uh, hormone into the body which prevents eggs from being released and also prevents eggs from implanting in the womb. Uh, I'll explain more about that as we go. First barrier method, condoms. Worn on the penis, they prevent sperm getting inside the vagina. Okay, and if because sperm can't get inside the vagina, a pregnancy can't start. Next barrier method, it's another kind of condom, uh, sometimes known as the female condom or um, the uh, vagina condom, or there can be one inside the anus, but we're talking about contraception here. So uh, this is worn inside the vagina. Um, it's uh, It looks quite big, but it's very squishy. This end is squeezed together and it's inserted into the vagina uh, whilst the woman is... Uh, whilst the female is squatting down or um, puts her leg up on the side of a bath or something. And then, uh, so it's inserted a bit like a tampon and she lets go of that. And then um, uh, the outside of the female condom sits outside the vagina like that. And the penis just has to go inside there like that, can you see? And this is really good because it, again, like the other condom, it prevents sperm from getting inside. Uh, the vagina, but it also prevents um, sexually transmitted infections. It's really good at preventing STIs and it's a way for women to be in control of both uh, their um, contraception and also um, not getting a sexually transmitted infection. Okay, it's going to be condom. Next method is the diaphragm. It's, uh, this sits on over the cervix. Um, often some spermicidal cream, so cream which kills sperm, is put on the outside. So this kind of goes, uh, surrounds the cervix and then any sperm just kind of hits that and um, gets killed by the spermicide and it means that it can't, the sperm can't swim inside the womb. Uh, therefore, um, it won't work. This one has a hole in it for some reason. I don't know why that is. Um, they're not that popular with teenage girls, but they are still used quite a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, they don't really prevent sexually transmitted infections, in fact, they don't prevent STIs. It's only condoms that do that, but it does prevent pregnancy. It's pretty effective. Next barrier method is the IUD. Can you see that? The IUD. It's about that big. Um, and it's uh, this sits inside the womb. And these um, T, these bars here, sit on the fallopian tubes. And how it works is you can see, can you see that? There's a load of copper um, wound around. It's really, really tightly wound around. Um, and if you've learned anything, it's called about ions, I-O-N-S. You might learn that they are tiny particles. And this releases tiny copper ions inside um, the womb. And it's kind of magic because they zap sperm. Um, Copper ions has this crazy effect on sperm and it kind of immobilizes them and stops them from swimming and sometimes kills them. So that's how it works. Also, um, because these because these sit on the womb lining, they interfere with how the womb lining is created um, and it, so that interferes with implantation. So it works in two ways. It's not inserted like that. It's inserted um, like this. So kind of like that. And then once inside, it springs out like that. Uh, the nurse who fits it uses a special applicator um, in order to fit it. It can be quite uncomfortable to fit, um, but it doesn't hurt too much, I'm told. Um, I don't have a uterus or a womb or a cervix, I can't tell you. Um, but uh, most uh, clinics fit these that do contraception, and they last for years. So once it's in, you don't have to remember to do anything, and it's non-hormonal. So very, very, very effective as well. Um, so yeah, that's the IUD. So that's barrier methods. Now I'm going to move on to hormonal methods. Now these methods work in pretty similar ways. They either um, they they introduce a small amount of extra hormone inside uh, the body, which is already in um, most women's bodies, um, estrogen and progesterone, um, and all these different methods have different levels of different combinations of those 
um, hormones. And they all work in similar ways. I'll show you uh, on the diagram in my book uh, that they um, either prevent eggs from being released from ovaries, as you can see here, or it prevents the womb lining from being created here, or it creates a plug of mucus at the base of the cervix uh, here, um, which all just prevents pregnancy from happening. Okay, it's also more info about different kinds of contraception in my book. Um, so uh, that's how they all work. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about how each of those work now. So first hormonal method is the pill. Um, it's the most popular kind of uh, contraception there is. It's a pill which is taken every day. These ones are taken every day for 21 days. And then um, they have a person taking them has a break for seven days while they have a break for bleeding, which feels a bit like a period. And um, then they start a new packet. And if they go to a clinic or a doctor to get this, they might get three or six months worth of pills and then they have to go back and get some more. OK, uh, like I was saying, they prevent eggs from being released. They prevent wound lining being created and create a mucus plug at the base of the cervix. I'm not going to say that again because it's boring. OK, so. Um, that's the pill. There are many, many different kinds of pills. So if you um, take one of these uh, and you don't like it, you get some side effects that you don't like, or you just don't like taking pills, you can go back to a doctor and get either a different kind of pill or a different kind of contraception. Okay, so that is the combined estrogen and progesterone pill. Um, there's also another kind of pill for people who can't take the combined pill. This is the progesterone only pill, also known as the mini pill. You see that is. 28 pills which are taken every day without a break. They need to be taken at roughly the same time every day. This is for people who, for other health reasons, can't take the combined pill. Okay, so look at all these pills here. Okay. This is the injection. It's called the Depo Provera. It um, lasts for 12 weeks. It's an injection in the bum, I think. Um, not my bum. I'm scared of needles. Um, but uh, many people like this. It's an injection in the bum or somewhere. Why do I keep saying bum? I don't know. But it's an injection and um, of the hormone that I've been talking about. And um, it prevents pregnancy for 12 weeks. So for 12 weeks, you don't have to remember to do anything. But uh, you do have to go back for another one. Um, 12 weeks later and the nurse will um, uh, set a time for you to come back and get it so it's um, so you can get it every 12 weeks. Next hormonal method is the implant. Okay, This is a very 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 popular method of contraception and like all hormone, hormonal methods of contraception it's very very effective but I think this is probably the most effective. It's, um, it's tiny this is about it's about that big, as you can see, about the size of a small hair grip, and it's not normally blue. This is just uh, so you can see it. It's normally clear, and it's inserted under the skin, under the arm, uh, usually here. Obviously, I'd have to take my jumper off. Uh, it's inserted under the skin here. If you went to a clinic, you'd be given a little injection uh, to numb the arm, and a small incision is made with this special tool that they have, which is about the size of a pinprick. This is popped in just under the skin so you can feel it um, and um, it stays in there for up to three years uh, and you don't have to remember or do anything. Okay, for three years that works. Something like 99.95% .95 effective, um, super effective. Sometimes people don't like the side effects they get from these but some people really, uh, really, really like them. So um, it's really important that you speak to the nurse or doctor about it if you if you don't like it, but this is the implant, it's super popular. Another method that lasts for a long time, the last, uh, these last three are all called long acting reversible contraception. So it lasts for eight, these are all contraception methods that last for ages and you don't have to worry about taking anything every day. Okay, so this is the IUS. You might remember that I had the coil earlier, the one with the copper around. Well, this is a hormonal version of that. As you can see, it's just plastic. It doesn't have any copper. It's inserted the same way, like I said before. But in here are all the hormones that uh, I've been talking about, which are slowly released into the bloodstream around the womb. Uh, and it lasts for up to three years. 
preventing pregnancy in the same way that the other hormonal methods prevent pregnancy. Okay. Okay, lastly here are a couple of the newer methods of hormonal contraception. So this is the patch. Um, it doesn't help you stop smoking, uh, sadly. It, uh, it helps uh, prevent you from getting pregnant. It's a patch which is worn on, on the skin. It's very, very sticky, so it stays on even if you like swimming or it stays on even when you go to a shower. It stays on for a week and then you take it off and you have to replace it with another one. And you do that for three weeks and then you have a week off uh, where you have like a period and then you start up again. It's very, very, very sticky. It releases the hormone directly into the skin. Sadly, they only come in beige. So um, if you're not beige color, then um, you're more likely to see it. So this is great if you're beige, okay? But if you're non-beige, they've not come out with a see-through one yet, which um, I've hassled them about, actually. I emailed them and tweeted them and said, make, a, you know, make different colors or make a see-through one, or make it red uh, or purple. Or, yeah, anyway, but that is the patch, okay? Lastly is the vaginal ring. Uh, it's, for some reason, I've got it in this silly box with a bit of string attached, but normally it's just this ring, and it's see-through, and it sits inside the vagina. And if it's inside the vagina, it is releasing the hormones that I've been talking about uh, directly into the bloodstream. It lasts for three weeks, and then it's taken out for seven days, and then you put another one in. It's the vaginal ring or the nuva ring, I think. Nuvara ring, nuva ring. Yeah, vaginal ring. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Uh, there's plenty more about contraception in my book, like I was saying before. Uh, please do buy it from my website, £6.50. Also available in bulk if you are um, a school or a clinic or something. Uh, Yes, buy it from my website. Um, also, uh, if you're a practitioner or a teacher, I've got a download pack called Safer Sex Aces where you can play uh, uh, contraception and safer sex top trumps, uh, which people really like and young people think is ace. Um, and that is it. If you want to find out about where you can go uh, to find contraception and talk to somebody about getting free contraception advice go to my website bishuk.com and in the sidebar you'll see a service near you where you can click to find your nearest confidential sexual health service uh, for young people and also non-young people okay so thank you very much for watching bye